Hello and once again welcome to Prakash Academy. Today we are going to do theorem 6.4 from NCERT class 10. And that theorem says like we have two triangles and if the corresponding sides of the triangles are in the same proportion. So we have to prove that the corresponding angles are equal and hence the triangle is similar. So what it means? It means this is a triangle ABC and a triangle DEF. So in this one, the corresponding sides like AB is corresponding to DE. Then AB by DE, again AC, the corresponding side is DF equal AC by DF and the BC corresponding side is EF then BC by EF it means the corresponding sides are in the same ratio then we have to prove that the corresponding angles are equal A equal D B equal E and this C equal F that we have to prove and when the corresponding side are in the same proportion the corresponding angles are equal then finally we have to prove that these two triangles are similar and this we also know with the name of s s s similarity side 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 similarity so we're going to start this one watch the full video and if you are new to this channel please like and subscribe the channel so now abc and def so we have to do one construction if you see this abc and def this ab look smaller than df so again like the last theorem that we have done 6.3 aaa similarity the same type of construction we have to do so if any doubt you have in the last theorem the link is in the description box watch that one then this is going to be easy now what we have to draw this is p and this is q like the last time draw dp equal ab and this dq equal ac dq equal ac and then we have to join p q now we have to join PQ. Now this and this. What the construction we did? This DP equal this AB. This DQ equal AC and we join PQ. So we got one more triangle that is DPQ. So hope this is easy. Now still we have to continue. So what we are going to do? Now, what is given? It's given already. AB by DE. AB by DE. So, I'm going to write here. AB by DE equal AC by DF. AC by DF. That is already given. I'm not using this one. I am using only this two. Now, AB this AB. Now by construction this AB equal DP. So on the place of AB I can write DP and divide DE. This I am not going to change. Again this AC. Now this AC and by construction this AC equal DQ. So on the place of AC DQ will come and DF I am not going to change. Now why I did all this thing? Now look here. In this triangle DEF, what we got? DP by DE. DP by DE equal DQ by DF. So we got DP by DE equal DQ by DF. So I will write here in triangle DEF dp by de dp by 
de equal this dq by df dq by df now remember the converse of thales theorem if any doubt you have in the converse of thales theorem link i am giving in the description box watch that one so in triangle def we have dp by de and equal dq by df to hum kya bol sakte hain so we can write then pq parallel to this pq parallel to this ef this pq is going to be parallel to this ef now when this pq is going to parallel to ef then this angle will be equal to this angle corresponding angle remember parallel and transversal if this line is a this line is b and when ab or a parallel to b and this is a transversal like c so this angle equal to this angle because they are corresponding angle now this pq parallel to ef and this de is a transversal then p equal e so i can write here p equal e and this q equal f angle q equal angle f and the reason will be corresponding angle so we got p equal e sorry yeah p equal e p equal e and this q equal f this equal to this corresponding and this equal to this corresponding p e and q f corresponding angle so copy up to here we are going to continue so what we got hame kya mila we got angle p equal angle e p equal e and q equal angle f this q equal angle f q because they are corresponding angles now i'll draw this two triangles so it will be easy kya draw karna hai i'll draw dpq d p q and i will draw def this is d e f now look here what we have done p equal e this p equal this e and this q equal f this q equal f and d and d is common angle so i will write here in triangle dpq dpq and triangle def d e f angle d equal angle d the reason is that is common then this p equal e this p equal e this is how we have proved just now we proved that is proved and again q equal f this q equal f that also we have proved this q equal f that also we have proved this equal to this so what we can say we can say triangle dpq and similar to triangle def and which criteria angle 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 that we have done the last theorem this is a a a criteria now when these two triangles are similar so the corresponding sides are will be in the same proportion so corresponding side so it means this dp divided by de so what we have dp by de and equal dq by df dq by df and equal this pq by ef pq by ef 
one thing I just want to tell you what is our main goal we have to prove this BC equal PQ and how we or why we have to prove this one because by construction AB and AC AB equal DP and this AC equal DQ and if we prove that this BC equal PQ then these two triangles are going to be congruent all three sides this equal this AC equal DQ and BC equal PQ so we have already two by construction we need BC equal PQ now how I am going to do now DP by DE DP by DE equal DQ by DF and equal PQ by EF now I am going to use this one DP by D this DP by D and equal PQ by EF PQ by EF this I am not using now DP by D what is the use of DP by D now look here this DP by D we have anyway no leave it so now this DP equal to AB by construction so I can write I can continue this DP is equal to AB by construction and by DE by DE and equal PQ by PQ by EF now look here why I did all this thing AB by DE and I need PQ I need BC we have to make them equal I don't want this EF PQ I want so this EF I have to cancel so how I am going to cancel this AB by DE this AB by DE I am going to use BC by EF AB by DE equal BC by EF so on the place of AB by DE I will write here BC by EF BC by EF and equal PQ by EF PQ by EF now EF EF got cancelled so what I got I got BC equal PQ that also I am going to write here what we got we got BC equal PQ BC equal PQ this BC equal to this PQ so again now we got BC equal PQ BC equal PQ then we have to prove this triangle is congruent to this one so I will write here in triangle A B C and triangle D P Q D P Q A B equal D P अब how हमने किया है that A B equal D P हमने starting में किया that is by construction by construction again this A C equal D Q and that is also by construction and BC equal PQ ye kaise BC equal PQ we just proved we proved so we can see triangle ABC congruent not sorry this is the similar uh, symbol so that is congruent symbol triangle ABC congruent to triangle D P Q this congruent to this now when they are congruent so I can see angle A equal angle D that angle B equal angle P and angle C equal angle Q that is the reason is CPCT corresponding parts of 
congruent triangles are equal and i don't think you should have doubt in this one because this is basics that we are doing from class 8 and class 9 again if doubt then the congruency link i have given in the description box that also you can watch so we got a equal d b equal p and angle c equal q that is by cp ct again just copy it i'm going to erase it because we have to continue so now what we got we got a equal d angle b equal angle p and angle c equal angle q now we will continue in a triangle or before that one we can do one thing before starting that one what we got we got angle a equal angle d this equal to this angle a equal angle d then angle b equal angle p i will write here angle b equal angle p and what uh, angle b equal to angle p yeah and angle p was equal to angle e p equal to e that was corresponding angle so angle p equal angle e angle p equal angle e now this is common so we can write here angle b equal angle e so what we got now we got this angle b equal angle e so i can write here angle b equal angle e now again angle c equal angle q angle c equal angle q and again angle c was equal to angle f sorry uh, angle q was equal to angle f q was equal to angle f corresponding angle so i will write here q equal angle f again this is equal so i can write angle c equal angle f angle c equal angle f now the main story starts so in triangle a b c and triangle d e f angle a equal angle d it is proved already so you can write here proved all three proved again angle b equal angle e that is also proved and finally the last one the third angle also angle c equal angle f that is also proved now look here we had to prove that angle a equal angle d that is proved angle b equal to angle e that is also proved and angle c also equal to angle f now all the three corresponding sides are in the same proportion and then we did the corresponding angles are equal so finally we can say triangle a b c similar to triangle d e f this triangle a b c similar to triangle d e f so this is it hope you are going to like the video give some comment in the comment box if you like the video and thanks for watching